Hello, welcome to the next edition of Jank Tank. Today we got a sweet deck for you guys today. Um, we're going to be trying out uh, Invasion of Segovia in blue-white tokens. Let's see how this deck can compete today. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Share this video if you like, and comment down below what cards you guys would, would suggest. And uh, let's get into the deck list. So as you can see, we have a card that I'm actually quite excited about playing again. Sphinx of Revelation. Seems like the perfect card to go alongside of our uh, Zagovia. So that's pretty good. We have a Wandering Emperor. We have a 23 lands in total. With Legion's Landing, Wedding Announcement, a Tribunal, two main, two side for a catch-all removal spell. Uh, we have Spell Pierce, Mate Disappears, Protect the Negotiators, which is pretty decent. Raise the Alarm with Reinforcements for and Secure the Waste. All ways to make um, tokens that we can potentially go off with. Sideboard-wise, we have Pithing Needle for Karn, stuff like that. Portable Hole for the Elves. Ether Gust for Mono Green. Disdainful Stroke as a way to fight through um, Brampish style decks. The Gates for Control. Rest in Peace for Graveyard Hate. Tribunal for a little bit more removal. And Settle the Wreckage as a Sweeper of Choice. That is our Blue White Tokens deck for Pioneer. Let's get into it. Dark Slug Shores. Duress. Take wedding announcement. Takes invasion. That's not bad. That's at least a two drop. Play a castle. Go. Another dark slick shores. Founding the third path. Tainted indulgence for free for the opponent. Parhelion in the yard. Pass the turn. Mills me for four. Okay. Underground river. Passes. We uh reinforcements. Put that on blue. Wedding announcement. Go to combat. Smack your face. Tainted Indulgence. Cast the Tainted Indulgence. Another part healing to the yard. Finally finds his white source. Duresses me. Takes Secure the Waste. Passes. Play the Coast. I think I just hit you and pass. Leave up Make Disappear for Grease Fang. Counter. Deserted Beach. Invasion of Segovia. Make some tokens. Go to combat. Hit the invasion. Another Grease Fang. Gets back Parhelion. Hack smacks my face. Sure. For 13. Flames. Invasion, invasion, invasion. Cast Ecatus. Tribunal. Eat Grease Fang. Pass the turn. On tap. Go ahead and cast Sphinx Revelation for 4. Now pass the turn. Another Grease Fang? Come on. Yeah, I'm off. So looking at for this matchup, we have Rest in Peace. Pithy Needle seems fine. Spell Pierce doesn't seem very great. Maybe A le Landing. The Wandering Emperor also doesn't seem very good. Maybe we go up a Settle. Run it like that. Fountain tapped. Go. Shores. Duress. Takes the counter spell. Coast. Go. We need lands. Watery Grave. Passes. Okay. Reinforcements. Go to combat. Smack ya. Indulgence. Gets rid of a Parhelion. Is this Grease Fang? Come on. Alright, he hits me. Down to seven. Finally find the land. But at this point, it's just too late. Alright, I'm off. So, 0 and 1. Let's get into the next. Vantage. Epicure. Passes. Hollow Fountain. Tap. Go. Gleeful Demolition. Did you keep a one land hand? Nope. By the Forge. Convokes. Locks it on. I mean, that's a good start. How do we beat that start? I don't know. This is one turn too slow. Pass the turn. Legion's Landing. Yeah. I swear we play lands. Flips to Landing. Play Reinforcements. Take the hit. I don't know what we're going to do, though. Like, plays his own Reinforcements. Plays a tap land. Passes. Conclave Tribunal. That's just... Again, not a land. Okay. So we definitely want spot removal. Potentially portable holes. Spell pierce doesn't seem very good. Get down a landing. Make disappear. Raise the alarm. Run it like that. Hollow fountain. Tap. Go. Vantage. Inspector. 
Island. Go. Pathway on white. Hits me. Another inspector. Demolition. Reinforcements. We untap. Deserted beach. Play wedding announcement. Pass the turn. Forge devil. Pings my reinforcements. Forge devil. Ping a token. Smacks my face. We will block one of the tokens. Another inspector. Beach. Welcoming vampire. Go. Goes to combat. Attacks out with everything. We block and block. Draws a card. Plays a tap land. Passes. Invasion of Zagovia. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Hit the invasion, maybe? Yep, yeah, hit the invasion. Pass the turn. Make a dork. Flip it. Now I got three tutus. Ornithopter. What's the last card? Cracks the clue. Desperation. Bushwhack. Grows the entire team. There's going to be a lot of trading going on. Okay. Goes to combat. Attacks with everything. Reinforcements. Draw a card. Trade. 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 We'll trade there. Down to seven. Passes. Reinforcements. Wedding announcement. Hit the invasion. Yeah, cast it. Portable hole. I guess eat the token. Got it. So honestly, I think raise the alarm might be just worse than make disappear. Actually, I want to go up all the work and go down make disappear. Down make disappear. Up legions landing. Run it like that. Vantage. Epicure. Passes. Another dang coast. Pass the turn. Den of the bugbear. Demolition. Looks like a convoke spell. Passes. Another land. Wow. <laughs> Pathway on red. Goes to combat. Hits me. Everything. Reinforcements. Take it. Passes. No land, please. Wedding announcement. Pass the turn. Forge. Goes to combat. Swings out with everything. Yeah, there's... Oh, not everything. Take four. Locks it on. Counter. Passes. Come on, give me settle. Portable hole. And that waste. How do I do how do I do this turn? I chomp here, I eat one of these. That doesn't do enough. So I chomp, chomp, eat, take four. Portable hole. Yeah, we lose. We just drew too many lands. There's no way we should have drew this many lands after starting the four, I think. But then again, we're also on the draw, which is a huge deal with this Gensis deck. If we were on the play, we might have had a shot. We would have been able to counter this. Most likely, we would have been able to apply a lot of more pressure. Turns on the den. All right, I'm off. Owen 2, let's get into the next. Castle, go. Play the cemetery, passes. Coast, go. Land of War Waste. Seder Wayfinder. Is everyone just on Seders these days? All right, counter it. Three graveyard decks today. Oh, uh, where are they coming from? Waste. Wedding announcement, go. Another Seder Wayfinder. A similar deck that we just faced. Plays a Tomb Tapped. Pass the turn. Another Cemetery. Haunted Dead. Secure the Waste. Hollow Fountain. Pass the turn. Flip the Wedding Announcement. Grizzly Salvage. Haunted Dead. Gets back a prize amalgam. Okay, passes. The Ganshu. Play Tribunal. Eat the amalgam. Pass the turn. Let's go ahead and hit you, I guess. You're probably gonna make a trade here, but you can double block. Means you lose two threats for one. Okay, chumps, trades. Won't gather the pack. Chooses two Seder Wayfinders. I guess cast them both. Sure, those are blockers. Creeping chill, that's pretty good. Two creeping chills? Oh, that's that's pretty damn good. Another Seder Wayfinder. Attacks with the spirits. Take it. Give me an untapped land. Okay, that's also reasonable. Pass the turn. Angler. Sax. Plays the boar. Okay. Question is, am I dead? Despair. That's fine. Swings out. Block. Block here. Here, here, and there. So one, four, that's 11. Oh, uh, so I am dead. Okay, All right, I'm off. All right, so we definitely know what we're doing more in this matchup. Spell pierces are crap. Rest in peace is an option. Down make disappears. A secure the waste, run it like that. Coast landing go. 
Wall overgrown tomb passes. Reinforcements smack you. Pass the turn. Swamp Seder Wayfinder seems fine. Probably takes the swamp, chooses the forest. Okay, gets Narco Amoeba. Legion's Landing. Smack you. Flip it. Blocks and blocks. Wandering Emperor. Uptick on the Lifelinker. Pass the turn. Forest. Gets back a Haunted Dead. Passes. Play a Tap Land. Minus. Eat the Dead. Go to combat. Smack you. Okay, trades. Pass the turn. Forest. Gather the pack. Creeping chill. He does have a couple prize amalgams in the yard. We have to be we do have to be aware of that. Make a token. Start a beach. Uptick on the other one. Smack you. Pass the turn. Gara Reach. Sanitarium. Angler. Activates his card. We will definitely pitch a landing. Ditcher supplier. Gets a narcomoeba and a creeping chill. Gets back prize amalgams. Draw three. Of course I draw that the last second. Minus eat a prize amalgam. So I could play a Miria's Call. It means I'm tapped out. So I think it's better off to just rest in peace. Legion's Landing and pass. Goes to combat. Wings out with everything but Stitcher Supplier. Subtle. Gets a bunch of basics. Massacre Girl. Eats up the board. Plus up there. Wait, this is dies, right? Yeah, so nothing died. Sweet. Uh, Miria's Call. Smack you. They're indestructible, so I don't care. Next turn, I'm just going to play this invasion and swing at it. We, we got to get an invasion win. All right, makes us draw. Get rid of the fountain. Going to swing at one ring emperor. That makes sense. I'm not making any exchange here. This is Xaxes right here. Zader Wayfinder. Cemetery. Cemetery. Passes. Invasion. Make some dorks. Play reinforcements. Make some dorks. Go to combat. Hit the invasion face, face, face. All right, blocks. Flip the invasion. Yeah, I want to tap tokens. Eat the girl. Pass the turn. Untap. Salvage. Gets an angler. Pass. Loots. At this point, you should just get, scoop it up. He's at he's four minutes on the clock. And there's no way he's going to be able to come back from this. Okay, he scoops it up. Run it back. Overgrown tomb. Passes. Owl Fountain, go. Overgrown Tomb, tapped. Passes? No. Okay, passes. Coast, rest in peace. Go. So it's actually a decent hand. We get to curve out Vampire. Draw a couple, draw a card here. Pretty good. Caterpillar, eats my rest in peace. That's a pretty good move. Play the Coast. Welcoming Vampire, go. Sanitarium, passes. Castle, invasion of Zagovia. Draw a card. Hit Invasion. Swamp Massacre Girl. I mean, that kills my board. Yeah. Invasion. Pathway on White. Tribunal. Eat the Massacre Girl. Pass the turn. Overgrown Tomb? Or plays, no, plays Sanctu uh, Sanitarium. Another Massacre Girl. Play the Coast. Pass the turn. Goes to Combat. Hits me for four. Take it. Make a token. Play a Tark, uh, Waste. Hit the lower invasion. Pass the turn. Okay, makes us both draw and discard. I'm going to get rid of the tribunal. Pass. Grizzly salvage. That resolves. The next spell he does, I, I probably will counter. Angler. Kick it. It's pretty much over with because, I mean, the one ramper is going to eat this. And we start smashing in. Okay, doesn't even bother attacking. Wandering Emperor, uptick. Sure, another invasion. And he scoops it up. One and three. Let's get to the wrap up. So, what did we learn this week about this deck? We went one and three. Um, overall, the deck felt pretty underwhelming. Uh, the changes I would like to make is, I thought, make disappear was just not good. Um, protecting negotiators also actually helps contribute to our game plan, so I really like that more. I also kind of want more raise the alarms, more ways to go wide faster is what the biggest problem I think this deck had. So I think that's going to help adjust that. Uh, it is up to debate if maybe I should cut a revelation. Uh, two copies might be just too much. It is a little bit on the high side. Um, it really is, does depend on this flipping. 
and we only got to flip it a few times but once you do flip it we do need card advantage so it's kind of weird how i don't know how you want to work that in right because you want to be able to keep drawing through your deck keep playing more stuff with uh, segovia uh sideboard wise i felt like maybe the strokes and gus could be trimmed up something else um for grease fang we did face grease fang and it was pretty bad like normal but what are you gonna do we face two really fast decks and then we face two basically dredges so kind of a weird mix but i think the deck we did get a couple games we got a game against boros convoke which is quite impressive uh, of course, it's very difficult to beat that deck on the draw, so that is a huge drawback. I kind of wish we had more one drops. That is, that feels what this deck is kind of wanting out of out of a one drop. So if you have any suggestions at all, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification on your way out the door. And until next time, hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day.